Good morning, brother. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. To lead us in our Eucharistic celebration is our parish priest, Reverend Father Dodo Torres. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence and of us, the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Together I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that the midst and certainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on the place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way and not according to the tradition they receive from us. For you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you, so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, Neither should that one eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. 
The Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed with fe who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. in him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that we are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. My dear friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to everyone. We would like to apologize for the delay of this Mass. Nagkaroon po tayo ng technical problem, kaya balik tayo sa cellphone ating ginagamit ngayon just to have our online mass. Anyway, a few days ago, the six-year-old daughter of a former classmate of mine posted a make-up tutorial on Facebook. Katulong ang kanyang nanay. She demonstrated how to put lipstick. So imagine a six-year-old girl in front of a camera with a vanity mirror na naglalagay ng lipstick dun sa kanyang bibig. Nakakatawang tingnan kasi cute na cute yung bata at kikay na kikay kahit bata pa. There's always effort in all of us, especially for women, to look good. True indeed, we value our physical appearance because it's the first, this is the first thing that people see in us kung ano yung ating panlabas na kaanuhan. Looking good on the outside can help make the world more pleasant for us. But Jesus emphasized what He is looking in us every day. Yung ating kalooban. 
hindi yung panlabas na anyo. Mas mahalaga para kay Jesus kung ano yung nasa loob, hindi yung nasa labas. Again, Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, beautiful to look at the outside, but inside, full of filth and dead man's bones. These are strong words of condemnation coming from Jesus. Religion for the scribes and the Pharisees is their own way of presenting who they are. Kaya nga po, masyadong magarbo yung kanilang pananamit. Magaling silang magsalita in public. Maganda yung kanilang templo, pati yung pwesto ng utuan kapag sila ay sumasamba. In short, all the external manifestation of their being, a church, people, is beautiful. Pero sabi nga ni Jesus, mahalaga pa rin para sa Diyos na ang isang reliyon ay may puso. Hindi lang maganda, kundi higit sa lahat, may puso, may pagmamahal. Wala pong silbi ang isang reliyon kung hindi ito nagbubunga ng pag-ibig sa isang nananampalataya. Walang silbi ang isang magagang simbahan kung yung mga nagsisimba doon ay nagkakakanya-kanya naman. Walang pakialam sa mga tao kasama niya nagdarasan. Walang silbi ang isang reliyon kung ang mga tao doon hindi marunong kumilatis ng kanilang kalooban. Ang totoong pagmamahal sa Diyos ay dapat po nagbubunga parate ng isang buhay na pananampalataya. Ibig sabihin, nagbubunga ng mabuting gawa sa tao. At dito po wagsak ang mga pariseyo sa paningin ng Jesus. The Pharisees and scribes always say their religion is very important for them. But this does not bear fruit of good works in them. They always say following the laws of God is important for them. But what they have is a wrong interpretation and promulgation of God's law which often leads to becoming narrow-minded kitid ng utak. And so as we continue this Mass, we beg for the grace that we may truly value what God values the most. And what is this? Our heart. God looking at our heart is much more important than our neighbors looking at us. Ang nakikita po ng ating kapwa madalas yung panlabas lang na kaanyuan natin ang mahalaga pa rin ay yung nasa doon. Sa muli, ang totoong pagmamahal sa Diyos ay pinapakita hindi lang po sa pag-aayos ng ating panlabas na kaanyuan, kundi yung pag-aayos mismo natin, pag-uhubog mismo natin ng ating mga puso. Nang sa ganon, ito ay katulad, maging katulad po magmahal sa puso ni Jesus. Amen. We ask God to help us to be sincere in our actions. Let our response be, Lord, read our hearts and answer us. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That in our lives, as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That we may avoid doing things out of the desire to conform or out of hypocrisy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us that those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That our brothers and sisters from the different Pamayanans of Barangay Loyola Heights, now affected with COVID-19, may trust in the Lord and have courage to face their trials in the light of faith. May our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Pentecost, cover them with her mantle of protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. For all frontliners in the field of medicine and health care, and everyone working hard to get things in control, that they may find comfort in the Lord and be granted the courage to continue their selfless service for those who are sick, and that the Lord may bless them for their heroic deeds to our people in this difficult time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. In silence, we will pray for our personal intentions. Father, help us to come worship with a sincere heart so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, and may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up Let to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sana, oh sana, oh sana. 
We are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this we also pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your peace. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Full of trust and confidence when we pray in the words, Jesus himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and it is not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. We take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need. 
to ask for your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work, to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. For truth, we turn to you. Make us your own.